students uh you are on to dr oj's tutorial class once again in this video we shall illustrate with relevant examples uh, how to find some trigonometric values or ratios or angles uh with respect to cast rule that we have uh, just learned now but before we go into that let's quickly write the following uh take the following notes down let's take this thing down because it's going to help us sine minus theta is equal to minus sine theta let's note all this cos minus theta is equal to cos theta you know and uh, tan minus theta is equal to minus tan theta you'll be wondering how come well sine theta is an odd function so why cos theta is an even function that's why it's, it's instead of having minus sign it has a positive sign but sine, because it's an odd function, you have a negative sign. Uh, likewise, uh, tan theta, they also equally have uh, the negative uh, side. Just like uh, dividing this by this, uh, we have minus sin theta. Okay, because tan theta is goes to what? Uh, sin theta over cos theta. So, multiplying minus by plus, we have uh, minus. That is obviously true. Now, also, we can have, although we have mentioned this before, we just mentioned this in our previous uh, class rule, this one, sine 180 plus theta is equal to minus sine theta i hope you you, you can remember you say you are, are you wondering how okay let's simply have a recap cast let's have a recap cast these are cast 0 to 90 90 to 180 180 to 270 270 back to 360 degree so 180 now already you know the limit for sine theta is 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 the the, you know, the, the, the maximum angle it can acquire in that second quadrant is 180 degrees. Now, but we're not, we're not saying that 180 plus theta, it means we have, we, have, we have an additional angle that makes it to go beyond 180. And I told you, once that angle has gone beyond, once the angle has gone beyond 180, it has entered into the third quadrant where we have tangent, so automatically sign we have a negative sign. In this particular quadrant now, it is tan that will be positive. So if I write tan y t plus theta now, I'll be, write, I'll be writing positive sign. You can see. So similarly for cos y t degree plus theta, it will also be what? Minus cos theta. And for tan, tan 180 degree plus theta, this one will be plus tan theta. Okay, as you can as you can see. Now let's look at uh, examples. Let's look at examples. Let's look at evaluate. I think we can clean this. I think we can clean this. Let's clean everything. Evaluate. For the question says one. Example one. Example one. Evaluate the following. Let's evaluate the following. A sine 150 degree. B cos 210 degree c tan 300 degree and d cos 420 degree yeah let's quickly solve this now let's quickly solve this this is these are very simple sine 150 degree you know just don't stress yourself draw dry, draw your quadrat table you know 0 to 90 is first quadrat 90 to 180 is second quadrat uh, 180 to 270 is third quadrant and 270 to 360 is fourth quadrant. Cast. You remember that? Fine. So sine 150 is in what? It's in the second quadrant. So obviously it's going to be positive, which means sine 180 degree minus 150 degree. The equivalent of 150 is that. So that will give you what? Sine 30 degree. And don't forget, sine 30 degree is what? It's half or 0.5. I settled the problem. Now the second one, cos 210 degree. Obviously, 210 is beyond 180 by some angles. So automatically it's going to be negative. So this one will be what? Minus cos, you know, 180 degree plus 30. That's the meaning of this. Yes. Yes, that is the meaning of this. That's the meaning of this. Okay, it's 30 degree has been added to it. 30 degree has been added to it. It's going to be what? Mine, obviously, 
Cos 210 degrees, same thing as uh, cos uh, uh, 180 degrees plus uh, 30. So I'm, that means that the theta that is added to this expression is 30. Okay? So that will give us what? That will give us cos 30, cos 30 degree. Or it's going to be negative minus cos 30 degree. Okay, minus, that is what? And that's cos 30 is going to be minus 0 0.8660. Don't be confused. Cos 210 degree, obviously, cos 210. 210 is fine in tangent. It's a third quadrant. So it obviously have a negative sign. But how do we express it? Fine. 210, you subtract 180 from that 210. Or oh, obviously, let's do it this way. If this one is confusing, that angle itself, surprise, surprise 180 from it. You can say the angle given to you 210 degree minus, minus 180. That is the given angle. I think that will be easier. It's still the same thing if you had added 30. If this is the way you understand it, fine. So because the terminal angle given to you is beyond 180, so say cause 220, 210 degree minus the limitation or the or the, uh, the, the, the previous uh, angle. So that will be what? Minus cos 30. And uh, cos 30 is 0. Point. You know cos 30 is root 3 over 2. Root 3 over 2. So if you check, find the square root of 3 divided by 2, you will have 0. Uh, 0.8660. Now, tan 300 degree. Tan 300 degree. You know your tan is, be see, uh, tan is, is between 180 and obviously it's going to be negative. And in that quadrat table, we have minus tan 360 degree minus 300. Yes. Yes. We can check well. Minus is coming into play here because in this, between, the, where we have that 300, it is cosine that is positive there. So we are, that's why we are introducing negative. Then tan 360, which is the terminal angle, minus the value of theta given to you. You've got minus tan 60 degree. And that's going to be minus uh, root 3. So you can write uh, minus root 3 or minus uh, 1.717. Uh, 7. So we can write, we can write anyone there. You can say minus 1.732. I think minus 1.732. That's the value. Now the last one, before we uh, call this one a day, cos 420. You say, ah, how come we have cos 420? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we can have it. D, I think that's a question D, cos 420 degree. Now, but you could see that the last angle here is 360. How come now it's beyond 360? Yes. What's, what is the additional angle there? What is it? After 360, just say cos, that will be cos 360 degree plus 60 degree. It means what you are adding to that thing to get 420 is 360 degree. Okay? And so it will be cos. That means what have you added to it? 60. Cos 60 degree. And why is it positive? Remember, in this section, cos 360 is a positive. But because of you have added is 60, which is found here. So it will remain positive. In fact, uh, all the values here, any value that is beyond the, uh, 360 is bound to is bound to have a reflex back so in such a way that uh, sorry for example now if i say sine 420 degree okay now sine 420 degree you know sine 420 degree ordinarily should be what should be it's 420 cos is the occupier occupier of 365 so now say this is going to be minus sine are you getting me now um uh, 360 degree plus uh what do we have 70 okay is it 70 uh, yes 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 no, 60. Sorry. Sorry about that. So this will be what? Minus sine 60 degree. This is negative here because originally a sine is not the occupier of a cos. Yes. It's not the occupier of the last lap of 360. So it, it will bounce back on it. And it will, not, it will not make it to be negative instead of having a positive sign. So it is cosine that will be ruling. If it is tan also, it will rule over uh, cosine is also rule of uh, tangent. So that will be sine, minus sine 60 degree. And um, this will be equals to minus uh, 0 0.8660. So on that note, we, we call it equit for that. So on the, in the next video, we shall talk more on trigonometry. Stay blessed.